Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to repair or replace actually a LCD display in a laptop. This is a Compaq Presario C500 series laptop that was dropped and as you can see the screen is very much cracked. Um, it's not, not pretty much non-usable as it is. Uh, we're going to replace it with replace a new screen into it and get the unit back up where you can use it again. Um, of course, the first thing you need to do is get your replacement screen. Uh, then you're going to need a small precision screwdriver with a Phillips tip. And then it's going to be best to have a sharp pocket knife or something to pull off the little rubber spacers that are in front of the screws around the perimeter of the monitor. Um, so the first thing we need to do is power off the unit. Can't do any of the changes and swapping parts while the unit is on. Um, then the next thing to do would be to go around the outside of the unit and remove these little rubber bumpers. They're just kind of held in place with a um, like a double-sided tape onto the screw. So we just want to remove those. them to the side because you will need to put them back on after the process is finished. Okay. Now you take your Phillips screwdriver and remove the six screws. Replacing screens on laptops is a pretty easy job to do uh, and in most cases it is worth replacing the screen on a laptop instead of buying a new laptop because you can get the screens um, on many places around the internet for usually well less than a hundred dollars. So as we're going around here, just setting the screws to the side. Now that we have all of the screws removed, now we need to remove the bezel. So you just kind of grab a hold of it, pull it back from the display a little bit, and start separating the two halves. And there we have the display, the bezel removed. Um, now you can see this is the part we're going to be replacing. Down across the bottom is your backlight inverter. This is what powers the backlight bulbs in it. Um, while we're doing this, if you have a machine that um, has no display, it could be just the backlight inverter instead of the whole display. So you may want to check out that before you order a new display screen on, on one. Okay, now what we're going to do is you pull the display a little bit in front of the casing and there's going to be screws down the length of the side, four on each side. So we want to remove those four screws on each side. Again, just set those to the side. It's pretty much the same procedure on any of any laptop uh, to replace the screen on them. Um, some of them are going to have screws in different locations, but the basic idea is going to be the same um, and like on these on the side some laptops are going to have four on each side some laptops are only going to have two on each side different brands uh, mount the, the displays a little bit differently but the same basic concept for any of them more screws. And here's our last one. And now what 
will do is remove these two screws at the very bottom that hold the display and the backlight inverter in place so that we can tilt the whole screen assembly forward. Now this is the control cable that sends the signals from the video card in the laptop to the screen. It's held in place on this little plug and then there is going to be uh, a couple of pieces of tape that hold the cable in place so it does not come loose. So we're just going to peel those pieces of tape back so that we can get to the cable. And then there's going to be one little piece of tape here that holds the actual plug to the monitor. And we just want to use, either use your fingernail or I'll say, you know, a little knife blade or something to get the tape started. And then pull the tape up and unplug the plug. Um, then the next plug is going to be the plug going into the backlight inverter here. And you just unplug that. And then we can remove the broken display. And when you get a new display, they're going to have a protective sheet on the front. So you want to make sure you remove that before you install it. So we're just going to pull that tape off. Okay, and here is your display. And to set it down, first thing is going to be plug in that signal cable. put the tape back just to hold it in place and we'll get our little pieces of tape here to hold the signal cable back in place. It's not absolutely critical that you put the, these two pieces of tape back in. It is for this one to make sure that it doesn't unplug. Uh, these just help you reassemble everything uh, with the least amount of problems. And now we're going to plug in our backlight inverter cable. And we'll lift the screen back up and put it in position. Start by putting the screws down one side just to hold it in place. Make it a little bit easier to get the rest of them. four down that side. I'll just rotate the unit around. Get the four down the opposite side. have those and go ahead and mount this is just a remount the backlight inverter. There are two screws that we took out earlier. Okay. Now we can reinstall the front bezel.
and the last screw. And then you want to put your little bumpers back in place. Um, the little bumpers may not seem very important, but what they do is give a little bit of space between the display and the uh, keyboard just enough so that you don't end up having keyboard imprints pressed into your LCD display. Older monitors or older laptops before they started putting the right kind of little spacers in there. If you look at the screens you'd have little keyboard impressions and that's why they started putting in the little spacers. Alright, now we will apply power, turn on the laptop, and now we have a fully repaired laptop. I'll have a display up here in just a moment. There we are. A lot better than it was. Um, ready to be put back into service. I like say, well worthwhile doing it, something that you can do at your house. Uh, all you have to do is either do a search for the model laptop you have in display, or if you want to, you can actually pull out the display and look on the back of it for the manufacturer model numbers, or the, this is actual, you know, Samsung is the manufacturer of this display. This is the actual manufacturer part number, or this is the compact part number for this particular unit. Uh, so like I say, that, you know, that's how you uh, know where to get the, the correct LCD display. So check back with us for other uh, tutorial videos on a lot of different subjects that will be coming soon. Thanks for watching.